The legal system can be difficult to navigate and often expensive. The good news is you could qualify for free legal help. If you are scheduled for a hearing after being denied benefits by the Michigan Unemployment Insurance Agency on your claim for jobless benefits, you may qualify for free representation at the hearing. The UIA's advocacy program provides trained professionals who are knowledgeable about the unemployment process and who will prepare you for your hearing before an administrative law judge. Administrative law judges work for the Michigan Office of Administrative Hearings and Rules and are independent of UIA. This ensures that you have a fair hearing. The advocacy program offers free information, consultation, and representation services to claimants and employers. The reason why I believe that the advocacy program is important for the claimant is because it allows the claimant to have the benefit of representation. It also prepares the claimant for that representation. And then the advocacy program allows them to be able to learn the law through their advocate as well as be prepared. For me, the most important thing the advocacy program does for the claimant is say, hey, you're not alone. We have someone for you to help you work with you and be with you during this process. The advocates used in the program are independent contractors who are not part of the UIA's staff and can help with hearings held either in person or over the telephone. Over the years, the advocacy program has provided free legal aid to thousands of businesses and claimants. Since the program started in 1991, nearly 260,000 have received professional guidance on their cases. Here's how the advocacy program works. If you receive an unfavorable redetermination from the UIA and file a timely appeal, you will receive a notice with a hearing date and time. If you are interested in using our free legal service, contact the advocacy program after you have received the hearing notice. We will provide you with information about the advocacy program, including the qualifications you must meet. The advocacy program staff will verify that your hearing is scheduled and will determine what services you may be eligible to receive under program guidelines. Staff will also send you an explanation of the appeal process, fact sheets about common issues claimants and employees encounter, and a list of participating advocates from around the state. When making your selection, be sure the advocate is available for your scheduled hearing date and time and is willing to appear for you either in person or on the phone. You must select an advocate at least two business days before your scheduled hearing date. If you do not choose an advocate in time, the hearing will still proceed even if you do not have representation. An advocate can help an employer or employee by guiding them through the layers that they need to navigate. They will help them prepare themselves for the hearing, what they will need to have, what they will need to present, and they will also advocate for either the employer or the employee through the entire system, whether the, through the hearing itself, and if there is an appeal, they will help them uh, deal with the appeal. There are some types of cases that don't qualify for help through the advocacy program. These are labor disputes, trade readjustment allowance, interstate filed claims, State Unemployment Tax Act, or SUDA dumping, and monetary determinations, including redetermination of charges. In some cases, the advocacy program only offers consultation services and not representation at the hearing. These are admitted disqualifying act, benefit, and liability cases without merit as determined by the advocate, school denial period, reasonable assurance interest and penalty calculation, willful neglect, and multi-claimant cases. During a consultation, the advocate will discuss the facts and the theory of the case to prepare you for the hearing. My role as an advocate is to assist the claimant. And when I'm consulting with the claimant, I always share that we are working together. I always use the term, hey, this is teamwork makes the dream work. I am helping you as you help me help you. And what I do as an advocate, I break up my consultations. I do a pre-file, a post-file, and a briefing so that you can truly in, you know, go through the process and be comfortable within, within that process. 
While the advocacy program is free, if an administrative law judge determines that you have committed fraud, you will be charged for the services the advocate has provided to you. To find out more about the advocacy program, go to michigan.gov UIA. You can contact the program staff by calling 800-638-3994 or 313-456-2314, Monday through Friday between 8 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. To learn more about the Michigan Office of Administrative Hearings and Rules, go to michigan.gov slash M-O-A-H-R.